Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. I wanted to do a chatty nail video today, and the topic we're going to be discussing is gel polish and possible gel allergy from gel polish. I've been doing my own nails for years now, and I usually have no issue, but a few years ago, a brand sent me some gel polishes to try. I don't want to say the brand 100% because I don't remember which one it was because there were a few brands that sent me nail polishes, but one time I noticed that my fingers got really really itchy and I didn't know what it was the first time that it happened I thought maybe I got like lime juice all over it and went out in the sun and got like an acid burn or something you know how that happens so I didn't know what it was the first time or two and then I kind of caught on like hey I think it's the gel polish that is making my fingers really itchy because it was only on this hand only these fingers and it was started like around the cuticles and went down my fingers and it was like really really itchy and I figured it out once I removed the gel polish and I found relief it like subsided so I was like okay I think it's the gel polish and did a little bit of trial and error and lo and behold I was like oh no I believe I have a gel polish allergy and I don't know if it was specific to that brand at the time because I do use a lot of gel products I use structure gel builder in a bottle I love this stuff. I've used this multiple times and I never get itchiness from this. I use the Gel X method with gel glues and that usually gives me no issues. So I don't know if it's like certain formulations and certain gel polishes. This is why they say be careful buying from like Amazon because you never know. But I will say that that brand was not from Amazon. There's like a few brands that I have in mind but both of them were not sold on Amazon. So I don't know what it was but for me in particular it's just, I could not use that nail polish. So from then on forward, I kind of switched to Gel X. I've been loving the Gel X method. Dip, I have no problem with dip either. And lately, I have been loving Builder in a Bottle. I think it's just a really great way to add strength to your nail, create extensions, and I have no issue with this, specifically this brand here. I can't speak for other brands, but this brand right here, In Hype, which I do want to do a video on, I have no issue with personally. But yesterday, I decided to create gel extensions using this, and I decided to apply a gel polish on top. And the gel polish that I applied was from the brand Beatles. I have a few of their polishes here. And once again, lo and behold, this morning I woke up and my fingers are like super duper itchy to the point where I just like ripped. I know it's like the worst thing that you can do, but I just peeled them off like stickers from all that structure gel. And yes, my nails are damaged now thanks to my super smart choice but I just couldn't do it my fingers like even now they're still pretty itchy I'll show you guys a little bit of what that looks like it kind of subsided I don't know if you guys can see like right here there's a few bumps and then at this finger right here down the middle here it doesn't look like much but I'm telling you it is itchy they're like these teensy weensy tiny little bumps and they itch like they just itch and usually once I take them off after about a day everything subsides and goes away so I don't know what is in the formulation of these from Beatles, but I wanted to make this video to say be careful because I feel like if you develop a gel allergy, sometimes you can't ever use gel products like for the rest of your life because that's it. A few tips that they give is to make sure you don't get gel polish ever on your skin or like on your cuticles. And I tried to be very, very careful yesterday. I even used a liner brush and for whatever reason, the gel polish just gave me this reaction and I know it's a gel polish because I have used these products before in the past no issue and then also I applied it to my toes like a month or so ago and my toes were so itchy so itchy and I was like no please don't tell me that this gel polish is giving me a reaction so for me personally I cannot use beetles gel I don't even want to risk it so I just wanted to make this video to say that there are certain brands out there that you kind of do have to be careful with. They might not give you a reaction right away. Like I've used gel almost my, I mean I don't want to say almost my entire life because that's a lie. But I've used it for a very long time and I've never had an issue until probably like five years ago or four years ago. No, four years ago when like this one brand let me try one of their products. I don't know what is in the formulation of some of these gel nail polishes but they do say you know be careful make sure that you're getting from your reputable brands that are truly hema free so this video is just like a psa to be careful watch what products you buy because i know i have a handful of nail videos on my channel i love doing my own nails at home i've come a long way in doing my nails at home i feel like you're able to save a lot of money doing your own nails at home but sometimes it's better to invest in like better quality products so if you guys know any gel polish brands 
that you know are good and reputable leave them down below that is my video my little PSA to you guys again leave any recommendations down below and share your experience but I just wanted to make this video because I do have a lot of nail videos or quite a few nail videos on my channel so just wanted to say be careful thanks for watching though